Everybody. Welcome back to the channel. So a bit of an announcement I've been wondering. The main thrust of this channel is to show you haiku uh, applications that you can get from Haiku Depot. But I have enough ego to want to show you some things that I've been working on myself. You know, some original things, some more ports, and uh, so look, I thought, how am I going to uh, incorporate that into the channel? Well, by now you should be used to me seeing regular episodes on Mondays and Thursdays, and I'm trying to keep that up. It is now February the 12th, and I've got episodes lined up, scheduled to be released into April. So, time to do something else, sort of in between, and that is more of my own involvement with Haiku. And so I'm going to show you some things that I've been doing and working on and put up for consumption. And some of them are really, really small. Like today's example. If you've been working with Linux, then you'll know the LDD command. And the LDD command is a little terminal application that shows you exactly what other uh, libraries, what other applications an application needs. Now it's very useful. Haiku doesn't have one. For some reason the developers deliberately decided not to port LDD. There is another way to get that same information though, and it's slightly more involved, but I thought, wow, let's just, you know, let's just go and uh, see what else we can do. Can we put this into a little shell script and can we just make a edge package for it. Which brings me to what must be the smallest edge packets ever made. Alright. It is 1.5 kilobytes. <laughs> As a matter of fact, if you know how, how a uh, H package is constructed, the package info file is larger than the script. But let's download it anyway. And as usual, SourceForge takes a while while it looks at its different... And there, it's done. Okay, let's hide this and downloads. Where are you? Oh, it didn't go to downloads, right? I have to fix that. If we look at the contents here, there's a package info and there's one tiny little shell script. Store package LDD. Do I want to do that? Yes, of course I do. I, I wouldn't have clicked it. And that's it. So, we now go to Terminal. 
Uh, let's see. Hmm, let's close this down. We type LDD. We just get a little usage notification because I didn't give it a file name. Okay, so let's find an application system. Let's go to apps. Uh, let's find something that is going to need something This one will do. Drag it across. And there it gives you all the uh, requirements. Now there's nothing unusual in there. It's a Haiku application. So yeah, these are all standard libraries that you'll find on every Haiku, Haiku installation. But if this was a GTK or a QT applications, then you'd be able to see exactly what it what it does, what it needs. Right, so if we now go to the bin directory and we have a look at the script, there it is. Yeah, that's all there is to it, right? It's a shell script. The Z means empty string. So, dollar one means the first parameter after the uh, name of the program of the script. Right. So, if that is empty, if I didn't give it the name of a uh, script of a program, then it gives me this little bit of advice, else echo one, which is this, All right? And then this one line is what actually does the work, All right? This takes the place in Haiku of LDD. The thing is, you only need this once every couple of months or once a year or so. So are you going to memorize this? Are you going to remember that dash X, for example? And so that's why it's when you come across an interesting little snippet like this, you can just put it in a shell script and then forget about it until you need it. And if you're a real egomaniac like me, then you put it in an H package and set it up for the world to download and use. Okay, so that's it for L LDD. Right, so you'll notice that this is in the supplemental series which I'm going to use for little adventures of my own in Haiku. We've had a few supplementals already, but yeah, unlike the regular episodes, these won't be on any sort of schedule. They can show up any time, really. And uh, so subscribe to the channel, and YouTube will tell you exactly when there's a new one. Okay, and uh, also I'm not going to number the su supplementals. I don't think that's necessary. Okay, see you in the next one.